Right, hi guys, welcome to another leaders meeting. Uh, we will be doing, um, every two weeks, we will be doing a presentation like this just to make sure that the system is really going to duplicate between the leaders and the teams that you're building. And then every other week, we will, we, we will be having like an open discussion where where you can bring up everything that you want and we can, you know, we, do, we can just talk about everything. So in today is going to be just a quick reminder of some of the habits that we need to create as we're building, building the system to make it to, or build the teams to make it stronger and stronger. So today we're going to be talking about the team, the company and you. We're going to talk about uh, the core business habits, the goals and also pro leader. So. You know, the first steps is very, very important that, um, you know, we're, our first goal is to bring people into the WhatsApp chats. And it's very, very important that you warn your brand new people before you add them. Make sure you make sure you warn them that this is not a normal chat group unless they're going to write something positive towards the business, because we we have to remember that. the Oh, hang on. Sorry, my my computer's dying. Hang on. Always remember to have your charger on, on your phone. That's an, oh, sorry, on your laptop. It's also important. <laughs> right. OK, so when you are adding people to the WhatsApp chat, it's really important that you warn them before that this is a chat where we add brand new prospects. It's not a place where we ask lots of questions because we need to keep it in as a clean environment as possible. So the brand new people always see you know, you know, when you're posting your um, when you post your results and well done and, you know, just watch the team, what people are doing. It, we're just showing encouragement, but it's really important you warn your or, you know, just to train your brand new prospects a little bit before you add them. You know, of course, we want to answer their questions, but we always take that outside of the group. Make sure people are downloading Money Working For You app, you know. That was that was such a lifesaver last week when the whole social networks all collapsed and crashed. And guess what? We were still in action because we had that app. OK, so that's why it's a perfect example that we are completely independent of social media, you know, because actually Facebook hates people like us. They really don't like network marketing people, you know, because we use their system to build teams and and. And especially if they, you know, they're not earning any money from us, you know, they they don't like it. And if you think about it, it only takes one button, and Facebook can close us all down in one second. So the it's very very important we add people to the app so we can be in more control of our teams. Uh, also, feel free to post in there. Let's make it a little bit more active. It's not just my group, you know. It's 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 actually a, like a a community within the app. Feel free to post your results in AI marketing and, and let's make it, try and make it a little bit more lively for the people that's in there so they can see things going on. Um, you want to also make sure that brand new people, that they, they really do understand that Money Working For You is a step-by-step -step program to, you know, they, when they come to the first page, uh, you, you basically click on get started and it takes you to the very first page where everybody gets started. But we're finding that when we are going down into the organization and talking to people, well, guess what's happening is, well, they don't even know what money working for you is. And that's sort of scary because all the information is there to teach people how to do this. And this is the duplicatable part of our system, but they're not seeing it. OK, so it's really, really important that we get very, very strong with this when people say, oh, what do I do? Well, you need to have the money working for you um, URL so you can get started. And that's all we ever need to do. Show, show the film. If they say I want to get started, OK, here's the, here's the money working for you app so you can get some in basic information to, to get going. Um, prospects, you know, prospects, we don't want them in the app. They're not ready to be in the app. They're not in. So we can add them to the, the Money Working For You Facebook group. I've put the first most important films in the announcement. So you can add any prospect to there. 
We can also post, it's, it's not just my group, you can post your results, you can post anything you want, as long as it's to do with AI marketing or one of the businesses we're promoting. And, you know, take ownership of that group. It's your group as well. And you can post anything you want in there. And the reason we do that is because your team that you add there are watching you as the leader. And, you know, if it's just me posting, they're always going to see me as the leader. And that's not good. We want them to see you as the leader as you're adding your prospects there. So the more times you post in that group about different things about your results, more people are going to see what's going on. OK. Um, people need to understand that they can make a decision. OK, just make a decision on what, what do you want? You know, do you, do you just want to sign up and and follow the team? And so I need to get rid of something. That's it. Or do you actually want to sign up and work with the team? You know, there's a big difference, you know, because some people just want to sign up. They want to have a couple of accounts and invest their robot. And, and that's fine. We, we want that, too. But we we need to ask that question because we don't want to start bombarding them with, you know, building the network and, and doing this and learning and educating if they just want a peaceful life and, and open one account and invest. OK, it's really important you understand. You, it's really important that you ask the questions to the people so they know uh, and you know what they actually want. But of course, if they say, I want to build a team, you know, then you need to connect them to the team. So. Begin with the end in mind. Uh, I see a lot of people, they just sign up and they're, they're throwing a few links out there and. And of course, yes, your business is going to grow, but I recommend that you 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 begin with the end in mind. You know, you think about what what do you want your bank account to look like in six months to or, or one year's time? What what do you want it to look like? How much money do you want in there? And you can sort of look at this like a gym card. If you go and buy a gym card, like most people do in January, okay, they they all have the choice. They everybody can buy a gym card. Every person here can register with AI marketing, correct? It's the same. But if you begin with the end in mind, you can then come back to today's date and actually plan your goals for the whole year. So when you know what you want, what you're heading for, you can plan your structured goal settings all the way back to the beginning of the day. And, and then the only thing is you need to stay consistent. You know, you, you're you know, there's people that buy a gym card, don't they? And they go to the gym twice a year, but they're expecting to look like Mr. and Mrs. Sexy. And, and it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen in a million years. You need to have a, a certain consistency over a period of time to get to the goal that you want. So begin with the end in mind. These parts here, these are seven These are seven habits, which, uh, success habits that have been collected over probably 70 years. These, these are core business habits that can make your business work. And you need to treat it like a telephone number because if you're, if you're trying to call someone, for example, if you leave a number off, you're not getting through. And these are sort of the same. If you're building a network and you leave some of these numbers out, your business will slow down. So number one, you need to show the business on a consistent basis. Um, what do we mean by consistent basis? Well, Network marketing loves a certain type of momentum. And I personally think if you are showing this business to four, four people a week, OK, that will give you a certain amount of momentum where prospects are joining your business on a regular basis. And, you know, what does it take to actually send out one little film to four people? You know, you say, hi, John, I found something really interesting. If I send you a film, will you watch it? OK, we need to do it really work really hard right, to show to do that four times a week and it will grow your business. Or if you want to up it, you can you can you could do 30 a week. So you so you you make the decision to send out one film per day, which will keep you consistent, which will get you brand new prospects coming into your business. Number two, you need to connect them to the system. OK, if they are telling you that they want to build a team and a network, connect them to money working for you. Give them the URL direct and say, watch the films in the getting started. Get them connected. You know, don't become an expert and doing your own Zooms. And this is what we're doing. 
give them the URL and let them watch the films. And when they ask you a question, and you know it's in the films because you've already watched it yourself, you just say, well, have you watched the film? And they always go, no, uh, no, no, not yet. Okay, we'll watch the film. They're all there. It's, the answers are there in the film. So always get people starting, connect them to the, connect them to the, the system, follow the system. Number three, always help people get started. I always recommend within 48 hours, you know, because if you leave, if you sign people up and they're not started within 48 hours, their, their excitement changes. It's, it starts to get, I don't know, gets, they get, get start to get a little bit annoyed or, or disheartened. So, you know, if, you, if you're not gonna get people started right, you know, don't register them to start with. That's what I personally think, you know, get people started right, you know, think them, think of it as yourself. If you signed up for something and you're investing some money, you'd want the help, correct? Okay, and that's how I think. How would I like to be treated myself if I got added into a business? I want, the, I want to get some assistance to get started right, and I want it now, so fast as possible. So show them how to use money working for you. Number four, uh, we work in duplication, okay? Always ask yourself, am I doing what, what I'm doing right now, is it duplicatable? Okay, that, that is the biggest question because I see people change the system all the time. They, they, oh no, I don't like it like that. I think I'll do this. And, and we've seen it all the time, it changes. But the, I tell you something, when I look into our business right now, the ones that are duplicating the system have the biggest business. Okay, they actually have the biggest business. And the ones that are doing their own thing have tiny little networks and, and they think it's big. So um, duplicate the system. If there's a Zoom meeting, make sure your team knows about it. And when you are, say, doing a counselling meeting, you're a leader now. So sometimes you're going to be on Zoom helping someone get registered or helping them just teach them around um, the website or something. Or maybe they've got a problem. You're doing some sort of counselling. Never work alone because you can invite your group to watch you doing it. OK, that's called duplication. Um, number five, number six so, sort of go hand in hand. You know, we've had 15 years of education that teaches us to how to have a job. And remember that most of the people in your network that come in, they've also had the same education. And some of them have had never, ever done anything to do with multi-level marketing at all. But they're coming in with old thinking of thinking they taught them how to have a job. So I highly recommend that people read 15 minutes a day of recommended books, okay? It's, that's part is just a decision, you know, as they say, leaders are readers. Um, listen to positive audios. You know, you, you, can, you can find loads of great speakers on YouTube. You know, I even have independent, different types of speakers myself or in the form of an old education system that I used to work with. So I listen to stuff all the time. I actually listen to probably two or three a day still. Okay, I've listened to thousands and thousands and thousands of CDs over the last 18, 20 years because one, one audio keeps you, keeps poverty away, basically. It keeps your thinking sharp. And, and also if you listen to more, it makes you bulletproof because there's a lot of dumb crazy people out there that will give you their opinion about this business and 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 it could stop us at some people in their tracks okay but what it really does is it it shuts up that little inner voice that we have you know that one that's every time you think there's a great idea and it says in the back of your head oh yeah you can't do it you can't do it you can't do it and eventually you don't do it so positive audios are really important to shut up that little inner voice because it makes it go quiet number seven be a team player Okay. You are building a team. People want to know whose team you're on. They want to know where you get your advice from. You know, I was speaking to someone today and they asked, who are you? They asked me, who was I? They didn't even know who I was. OK, and it, it sort of made me laugh a little bit, but they didn't know who I was. They said, who am I talking to? I said, well, the guy in the films. OK, so. You, you need to really, really make sure that when you're building, to build a big team, people need to know. They want to know where you get your information from. Okay, They only listen to you for a little while based on a little bit of excitement, but then they, um, they need to know where the advice comes from. Okay, So be a team player. 
help the team, 80% of success is just turning up. Okay, it's very, very important. Um, duplicate core, you know, you, you've seen this paper, okay? All we're gonna do is become core and duplicate core. Okay, the core is the success habits that makes this business work. It's, of course, if you're just um, an investor, you don't need to do this stuff. But if you wanna build a big, strong network that brings in thousands of people at every single day, and you, you're just enjoying time with your family, you need to use core to make it happen. So first of all, you're gonna duplicate core. You need to become core. You go pro leader. I see some people, they go pro leader and what they've done, they've stacked 10 people, five people, three people, but they're missing the biggest part. They're not core. Because if they are not core, they don't talk about core. I've seen, I've got pro leader groups that are core and the difference in their business to the ones that aren't core is so different, it is, is so different guys. Because I tell you why, look at the first one. A core person shows 15 to 30 plans. So there's you, you're showing your 15 to 30 plans and you go pro leader, congratulations. You've got a group of uh, yeah, 18 people. Okay, plus you, 19. Very, very nice. But then what? If none of these become a core person, none of these, if you haven't spoken about it, none of these become a, um, a core person, it's still you showing 15 to 30 plans every month. But one of the points here that you need to have at least seven of these core people in the structure doing the same. So instead of you just doing, yeah, you're doing 30 plans when you've got core people, you've got over 150 plans just in this building block every single month, it helps you get to the next level, okay? We, we won't be um, letting people qualify as pro leader unless they are core, okay? And of course, there's no core policeman coming on the, knocking on your door saying, are oh, you a core person? You should know, you should know. You're a leader, you're, you know, you're, you're the leaders here. You should know if you're a core person or not. It's not for me to test you or check you, but we we see the ones that are being a core person and they have the most duplicatable businesses where they're exploding, okay? And all you're ever gonna do is go, go pro leader, it's the most important building block, and then help others do the same, okay? Very, very simple for freedom. Um, What's the relationships between upline and downline? You know, this is sort of a little bit strange, but I, I recommend that people always stay a student, okay? Katis has been around for 46 years. She's such a big student. You know, if you ever hear, I'm new to this, so I'm an open book and I just want to, or I'm an open sponge and I'm going to soak it all in and I'm going to forget everything I've learned before because this is different become a student with a goal and you're contributing now that basically means don't educate for five years and then start doing something okay you can actually do all of those three things together um you need to be loyal to your upline okay i feel a bit sad because i haven't got an upline to talk to so i have to talk to my downline and that's caddis so we have a very unique special business but of course i do have molnar and i have have john to talk to okay so i do still do have someone bigger than me. But what I mean in, in money working for you, I don't have an upline in that way, okay? But I'm very, very loyal to Molnar. I'm very loyal to John. I love what they've done and what they do. So I, I have a good loyalty with them. And that's what you should have with your upline too, you know, because you need to earn trust with them. And how do you earn trust? Well, you, you need to have integrity. Integrity, you know, some people don't, well, what's that? And it, well, it basically means do what you say you're gonna do. If you say you're gonna do something, be there. Simple as that, be there. Learn edification. Always lift your upline up. When, and you don't do it in front of them, that's weird. You, what you do before you're, if you wanna get a booking with a person, is that I teach my downlines. It's not about that I'm great, I'm not. I'm just following the system. But I tell my downlines, I said, look, I'm gonna come in and do a meeting for you. Make sure you tell your downlines that they have got a golden opportunity to meet someone with over 20 years experience and you need to lift me up as much as possible. 
And the reason I do that is because when I'm in that meeting with that prospect at my downline, I am going to say it back. I'm going to say to the prospect, well, you need to listen to this guy because he's building a huge team. We're working together closely as a team. Edification is free, but it's the most powerful tool we've got. OK, and uh, of course, you know, you're not always going to be a downline. You know, you can be a downline for such a short period of time. You know, you, you can be become a, an upline in two seconds if someone registers underneath you. But of course, you know, when you're coming to pro leader level, you're you're a bit more more than just a, with one person underneath. You know, you've got a developing team, you've got an asset growing and your job is there to help people and guide them. All right. You also need to get good at sharing vision. Um, become a sort of a visionary. You know, you're going to you're going to sort of like, you know, I like to create pictures in people's minds. You know, when I meet them and say, well, what would it be like when it's done like this? Or what's it going to be like in the future? You know, help people dream a bit. OK, that's why we're there. You know, that's part of being a leader. You know, we need to help people help people dream a bit, wake up their dreams, you know. Most people don't dream because they're in a boring, dead end job. OK, we need to sort of wake them up a little bit. Um, you have a financial interest in their success. When you were registering a person, you were sort of making a commitment with them that you're going to help them make money. OK, very, very important point, because when you help other people get what they want, you get what you want. Um, having goals. OK. You see that uh, we have a very, very simple goal card for the pro leader goal, but I always recommend you have two goals. Why do we have two goals? Well, you, you should have one big goal every single month. One big goal, it should scare you and excite you at the same time. If it doesn't, it's the wrong goal. If it just scares you half to death, that means you've set your goal too big. If it doesn't excite you, it's too small. OK, it's, it's just the wrong goal. And how would you get how would you know if it's the right goal? You get down, you get around someone that's got a bigger business in you and you say, teach me, teach me the next step. What do I do? What is the right goal for me? And we'll probably say, well, what do you want to do? And we'll, we'll work out some sort of goal for you. OK, but there's a reason why you have a low goal. A low goal is to save your belief. Because I've seen people over the years, they quit in two seconds because they have one big goal every month and every month they don't make it. They miss it every month. And guess what happens? Their belief goes down and down and down. And all of a sudden we don't see them anymore. We go, oh, what happened to that guy? Oh, he went to the AI marketing graveyard. Don't become one of those guys that goes to the AI marketing graveyard. OK. You know, when you have a small goal, it's a little bit like, you know, when when if you put a cake in the oven, OK, and you pull out a cake five minutes too early, guess what happens? It sinks, doesn't it? That's what happens to our belief when when we don't have a small goal. So you you should always aim for your high goal. You should always aim for the high goal. You know, your your big, scary goal, OK, your exciting, scary goal. You aim for that every single month. But you would normally find you're always clear. You're always clear the small goal, but you might not make the big one. But because you cleared the small goal, you feel like a winner anyway. And your new level becomes your your next goal for next month. This will be your low goal next month and your next, your bigger goal will be even bigger. OK, so you still get the growth, but you're protecting your belief. Um, so just a little example, low goal, you know. If you're shown, if you're showing, I think it was Robert we spoke to, the, um, I think it was when we had the John meeting the other day, and Robert said when he shows 10 people the film, he registers nine, and I think that's really cool, okay? So that means I might have to adjust these because he's, and, and you know, he's actually only using the film. He's just using the film, he's sending it out to people, and they, and he said, are you in or not, okay? And he's getting that sort of result. So, and that means if he's doing it, anybody can do it right it's the same film it's just about showing them but this is an example of a low goal and it's is to register 15 people in five weeks okay because if you think about it wouldn't if you registered five people yourself in a five-week period i'm pretty sure you'd be pro leader correct 
without a doubt you'd be a pro leader if you if you if you registered 15 people personally you would definitely be a pro leader maybe more so you see we can build this vision as leaders here we this is a leader's meaning we we don't talk like this to the brand new people we would scare them half to death but you know this stuff when you have a low goal, a five week goal to register three people a week. Well, how would you register three people? Well, you probably need to send out five of those films a week and go and buy Robert's results. Do you think we could register three people? No problem. OK, but here's the high goal. It's the same goal, but it's the time that's changed. This is what you should be aiming for. You know, right, OK, I'm going to go serious. I'm, you know, I'm helping the airline go pro leader or or you're just building your business. OK, and you, you want to register or go for f registering five people in one week. But guess what? You don't make it. So you register three people instead. How's your belief? You're feeling good, right? You that well, great. I cleared my low goal. So week two. OK, you're going you're going for it again. Uh, there's week two. And you're going for those goals and you actually re end up registering more. But then you're already starting week three halfway through. So you're really starting to get energized. And this is getting exciting stuff. This is all you need to do. You know, it's just um, just make sure you set the right goals. Stay consistent.